So we are going to look at the 3D graph, okay? And then how to plot that 3D graph using two different ways. The first one, through the level curve and contour line of function of two variables. Another one, through that three plane, x, y plane, okay, x, z plane, and the uh, x, y, x, x, z, and y, z plane. And then the graph of function of two variable is actually <clears throat> is set of all point x, y, z. Okay, for which z equal to f, x, y and x, y is in the domain of f. And then it's also called the surface z equal to f, x, y. I mean, the 3D graph is actually surface huh, of the Z, okay? And the input X, Y is actually the, what we call domain Z is the range. So the graph of function of two variables is a function in space. Huh? 3D is, okay, you have a three dimension, so it's become a space. Okay, when the graph of, okay, uh, 3D graph here, Z here, when you press it, okay, the projection is on the XY plane. And then for every okay, point XY in the plane D, okay, there are uh, the corresponding point XY, Z means XY map, map with Z on the surface. And conversely, to each point XY, Z on the surface, they correspond to a point XY in D. Okay, okay, in the three dimension, when you press it, okay, you will get on the two dimension, the x, y plane there, where the z actually zero here. So given x and y, you can find, so you map, can map it to z. And then, okay, <clears throat> when you have the f, x, y, equal to C, where the C is a okay, scalar value. You can put in any okay, meaningful constant value here. Okay, This set of F, X, Y equal to C is what we call level curve of F. Level curve of F. And then the contour line of function of two variables okay, is a graph of level curve F, X, Y equal to C in the plane Z equal to C. Okay, let me Use back the pen. Okay, you can have f x y equal to c where you plot on two D graph. Okay, so c you can have a okay a several set of c. So you have a several set of two D graph. Okay, that graph is called level curve. When you raise up the level curve, because okay z is actually equal to f x y. So when you raise up the okay the level curve correspond to the plane z equal to c that graph is actually called contour line then we are going to use this contour line and level curve to help to draw that 3d graph this is the first technique another technique is we keep plot on x y plane x z plane y z plane then you can also get that 3d graph okay for example, use the level curve of the functions fxy equal to x squared plus y squared to sketch the graph of f. Okay, first of all, if we use the level curve techniques, we will let fxy here equal to c. So I mean, you will let um here, let's say x squared plus y squared equal to c. Okay, c you can take okay, any meaningful value. Okay, if you take C, uh, let's say C is 1. Huh? Then you get x squared plus y squared equal to 1. So can you tell me what is uh, this graph actually? x squared plus y squared equal to 1. Uh, Sophia. Can you identify the equation x squared plus y squared equal to 1? What is this graph in two dimensions? Okay, Sophia, are you around? Okay, 
Sofia? Danish? Yes, doctor. Yeah, can you tell me? x squared plus y squared equal to 1 in two dimension, 2D xy plane. What is this graph actually? x squared plus y squared equal to 1. What is this graph? Okay. x squared plus y squared equal to 1. What is this graph actually? Okay, if you, if you cannot know, you can just uh, let Let's say x squared is 0, y squared you have 1. So y will be, when x is 0, y you have negative 1, positive 1. Okay, when y is, uh, just now when y is, okay, later on when, <coughs> sorry, when x 0, y is negative 1, positive 1. Similarly, okay, when y is 0, x is negative 1, positive 1. This is actually, uh, not like circle, lah. This is actually circle with radius 1. Circle centered at okay, origin mean x0, y0 with radius 1 unit. So for the, okay, the function fxy equal to x squared plus y squared. If you let the fxy equal to c, c, when you put 1, this is a circle with k-centered at origin with radius 1. Okay, if you put, let's say, x squared plus y squared equal to 4, and then x squared plus y squared equal to 9, then you have, okay, similarly, this is a circle with radius 2 unit, circle with radius 3 units. Then, okay, you have a, I will show you this one very messy. Here. Okay. Ah, like here. So just now, when C is 1, circle with rad uh, centered at origin with radius 1 unit. C is 4, circle with radius 2 unit, centered, okay, still centered at origin. C is 9, it's a circle centered at origin with radius 3 unit. So this graph is called, uh, this one is con uh, level curve. And then you raise up, okay, each k level curve here, because you have actually z is fxy, eh? then equal to c. Okay, so if you raise up this k piece of circle, this is k z equal to one. So raise up this circle at one unit. This is four unit z equal to four z equal to nine. Then you get here. Z is one. Okay, so at z equal to one, you have a circle with radius one unit. Z equal to four circle with radius two unit. Z equal to nine circle with radius nine unit. So this is a 3D graph that you get. It's actually, this is so-called okay, paraboloid. And okay, the contour line at each, uh, at uh, their position, this, uh, uh, so mean the level curve that you raise up at its position, this is called contour line. contour line here okay and then the outer surface is called that 3d graph mean the outer okay, surface is your 3d graph so you have a set of the z equal to c this is a level curve Raise up the level curve according to its z position. So z1, z4, z9, this is contour line. Okay, and then give the outer surface. So this will become the 3D graph. So, okay, any questions here? This is a simplest okay, example of the uh, 3D graph, where it's z equal to x squared plus y squared.
Uh, so far, no question yet, Doctor. Okay, thank you. This is uh, the easiest one. And then, uh, okay, if no question, we look at another one first. Uh, I want to, this is uh, all here. This is, uh, I think, uh, manual okay, sketching. This is the level curve here. This is from the mapper. This one also from uh, the, okay, um, and the, you see with the color, okay, that graph also from the mapper, okay, software. Let me look at another example. Okay, given the fxy equal to 100 minus x squared minus y squared and plot the level curve. Okay, this is friendly question because the level curve where, uh, I mean the c value is given. Level curve fxy equal to 0, fxy equal to 51, fxy equal to 75. Okay, the value of c 0, 51, 75 is given. So you just follow the instruction to sketch three level curve there on 2D plane. Okay, then you will just let, uh, I mean you have 100, because you have f x y equal to 100 minus x squared minus y squared, it said let it equal to 0. Okay, then you have 100 equal to x squared plus y squared. So again, this is circle centered at origin with radius uh, 10 unit. Okay, and then let's uh, uh, fxy equal to 100 minus x squared minus y squared equal to, okay, they said let it equal to 51. Then you have 100 minus 51 equal to x squared plus y squared. So you have x squared plus y squared e eh, missing. I am missing them. I already have. No. Okay, zero is x squared plus y squared equal to hundred. Okay, and then for fifty one then you have 100 minus 51 equal to x squared plus y squared. So x squared plus y squared equal to 49. So this is okay. At a um, higher height, you have a smaller circle, which is radius 7 unit. Okay, at z0 is 10 unit. So when z increase, the okay, circle becomes smaller, become okay, the radius is seven unit. Okay, later on, let's get okay, the fxy equal to 75. Then you have 100 minus x squared minus y squared equal to 75. So you let 100 minus 75 equal to x squared plus y squared. So you have x squared plus y squared equal to 75. So this is z equal to 75, we get k, k this mod, k, 5 units k of circle only. So draw this 3 k graph, which is circle with radius 10 unit, 7 unit, 5 unit on 2D plane. So you have here this one. C equal to 0, this is actually Z equal to 0. You have a rad circle with radius 10 unit. Okay, this is Z equal to 51. Circle with radius 7 unit. Z equal to 75. Circle with radius only 5 unit. So this graph is, okay, this one is called level curve. So you can see, okay, uh, mean when the height increase, height increase, the height increase, the circle becomes smaller and smaller, and the peak is actually at 
z equal to 100. Okay, because when you let when you let the fxy minus x squared minus y squared equal to 100, nah, then you have the uh, mean x squared plus y squared equal to 0. So mean x squared plus y squared equal to 0 means okay, x equal to 0, y equal to 0. So when x is 0, y is 0, z you get 100. So this is only mean at the maximum point, x, uh, z equal to 100, x at least 0, y is 0. There is only one point. That's why you get still paraboloid, but okay, the paraboloid is actually just now the paraboloid is open up bigger and bigger up to positive infinity. Okay, this one the paraboloid is we have a maximum point which is at z equal to hundred, and then is okay bigger and bigger when go to negative infinity, which is like this. Okay, at z equal to hundred is actually only one point. Okay, mean the level curve which is on the okay, uh, two dimension. Z equal to 10, uh, Z equal to 100, you have the rate, okay, circle with radius 10 unit. Z equal to 51, radius, okay, uh, the circle with radius okay, uh, 7 unit. Z equal to 75, circle with radius okay, 5 unit. So raise up the level curve, I mean if you draw at the, okay, at z equal to 75 is only radius with five circle with radius five unit z equal to 51 circle with radius k seven unit so that graph is contour line and then the outer surface is what we call that 3d graph uh, so like here this one they just sketch only one this is at z equal to 75 you have a k circle with radius k five unit so if we draw okay another bigger one Okay, this one is actually c equal to 0. Uh, let's say you have another one here. This is c equal to 51. This is c equal to 70. Okay, this one is c equal to 75. Okay, at this point is c equal to 100. So this is the okay, open down parabolic. With maximum point is 100. Okay, if just now z equal to x squared plus y squared, okay, your paraboloid is actually you have minimum point. Uh, right here, minimum point. Mean here, minimum point open up, open up, sir. If you have like here negative x squared negative y squared, then the paraboloid is actually okay open down. Like here. So if z equal to negative x squared, negative y squared, if we use a technique of, okay, uh, technique of what we call technique of uh, this one, if the z here multiplied by negative, so the parabolic okay, is actually open down. And then, so this part is a parabolic if open down with the maximum point at z equal to 0. And then z add up with 100. That's why the parabolic move up to z equal to 100 mean the maximum point is at z equal to 100 okay uh, do you have any questions okay so far See, two example with the parabola yeah? one is the simplest parabola with open up and then using uh, if you multiply the z okay mean this okay equal to x squared plus y squared with negative the parabola is Okay, inverted down and then if you add up 100 so it move up 100 okay unit okay any questions here Okay, if no, let's see, we got another. Uh, here, we'll show you. This is parabola is z equal to x squared plus y squared. And then, okay, 
this is how you're sketching that 3D graph without using level curve. If you have, let's say, z equal to x squared plus, uh, this one is a general case, z over c equal to x squared plus, over a squared plus, y squared over b squared. Okay. And then you, you see that I said, uh, beside using that level curve, you can use another, another technique where you sketch on 2D, uh, 2D graph, which is x, y plane, and you can sketch on zy plane here. Another one is zx plane. Okay, for example, here. So first of all, if you sketch on xy plane, uh, xy plane, then xy plane happen when z equal to. Okay, if we let z zero. Okay, xy plane is z zero. Then you have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equal to 0, which is actually 1 point. I mean, for the xy plane, xy plane is actually z 0. Then you have x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equal to 0. Implies k. This will implies x 0, y 0. That's why it's Okay, one point there. Okay, later on, you can plot on XZ plane. Okay, XZ plane, let Y become 0. Y become 0. So you have Z over C equal to X squared over A squared. Or Z is at least C over A squared X squared. So Z equal to C over A squared X squared is actually a parabola. Because Z equal to X squared. So you plot that parabola on z x plane. So let's say you have your okay, vertical is z, horizontal is your x. Okay, c over a squared. This is a okay scala. So mean you got maybe one time, two time. Okay, how many time of the x squared? Your parabola still is this form. The scala just okay depending whether the parabola okay uh is open, okay, uh, wider or narrower. So the shape is here. So z, okay, z equal to c over a squared over x squared. So you have, okay, z x plane. Okay, the resultant is actually the red color. You have one parabola. Okay, and then on z y plane, because you have x here, y here, z vertical. So z x plane, this one z and x. Where is it? Sorry, z x just now is blue. Blue one. Sorry, the z x plane, uh, the parabola is a blue. Mean you, okay, this one, chain to this position. Z x plane is a blue color, and then okay, on the mm, z y plane, huh? As a z y plane, yeah. Okay, the z y plane I mean for z y plane. Okay, you let okay x equal to zero. Okay, x equal to zero, you get z over c equal to y squared over b squared. So z is at least c b squared y squared here. Uh, so it's a uh, so you draw, okay, against now vertical is z, now y become horizontal. So c or b squared is just depend, okay, just to determine how far the parabola open. So you see the parabola, okay, where the minimum point at z0, zero, y0. Zero. So for the z, y plane, it's actually z, y, okay, if you, when you view, it's actually your front wall in front of you, the wall in front of you. Z plane is a wall beside, okay, at your left hand side. X Y plane is on your floor. X Y plane floor, Z Y is in front of you. Okay, so Z Y plane, you have a parabola, which is a red color. A red color, okay. The wall is uh, at your left hand side. This is a Z X plane. You have another parabola. So you have, okay, the, okay. So you have the red color parabola, okay, and the blue color parabola. Okay, how we know the cross section is 
ellipse. Huh? Okay, because okay, let's say this one. Okay, how you know this is ellipse or circle? If circle, the coefficient for a squared and b squared must be same. Okay, a squared and b squared must be same. And then this one, the, let's say for example, this okay, this uh, green color. Uh, we we'll let let's say z equal to c. When we let z equal to c, so we put in here, we have the x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equal to one. At the plane, okay, the green color here is z equal to c. So you have this is actually ellipse okay, equation. The ellipse equation similarly, okay, when you see the equation like here, mean the x intercept is at Okay, this is positive a behind is negative a. So the y intercept is from okay, positive b in front, negative b it at the back. So the cross section is actually an ellipse. So if you want okay, the cross section is circle, a must be equal to b. Then we'll get sir, okay, the circle equation x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. If not, Okay, the cross section of x is positive a, negative a. Cross section uh, of uh, y axis is negative b to positive b. That's why we get okay. This is a uh, okay still parabolic, but the cross section is actually ellipse. Okay, this is second technique where you sketch your three D graph through x y plane. Z y plane is the wall in front of you. Z x plane is the wall at your left hand side. And then the xy plane is on the floor. Combine that three plane, you also get that three D graph. So you have two techniques. It's either you use okay, the level curve, okay, and then raise up the level curve at its contour line, then you get that three uh, D graph, or you sketch on xy plane, zy plane, zx plane. Okay. So up to now, okay, do you have an, any questions here? Can you see my jumbo share? Uh, but where's the jumbo? Uh, hold on. Where's the jumbo already? Okay, if you got no questions, okay, let's um see that can I write? Okay, how to write yeah. Okay, if I have z z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay, since you got no question, okay, I would like you to use okay, first of all the technique of level curve. Huh? Using the level curve uh, technique. Okay. Let's your um let's say z equal to one, two, three. Okay, let's your z equal to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then plot okay, the level curve. Level curve and your contour line. Okay, and then tell me what is this graph actually. Okay, this graph compared to z equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay, just now, okay, we have learned two examples, uh, that the paraboloid, and then see the technique of sketching a paraboloid using the xy plane, zx plane, zy plane.
Okay, now we have another equation. Let's say it's z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay, can you let the z equal to 1 and then later on 2 and 3? Okay, sketch that 3 graph on xy plane. That graph is called level curve. Raise up your level curve to its z, keep z position, which is z1, z2, and z3. You will get that contour line. And then, okay, can you tell me what is that 3D graph? So, z1, you have an equation x squared plus y squared equal to 1 squared. Later on, z2, you have x squared plus y squared equal to 2 squared. z equal to 3, you have x squared plus y squared equal to 3 squared. So what is actually this three graph here? You have to okay, you have to familiar with the okay, equation so that you can easily sketch okay, sketch the graph. So what is okay, this three graph? Akasa. Akasa, Asraf, are you all okay, in front of your okay, computer or just turn on and then go back to sleep? Okay, so Tasarini, what was this, uh, that second equation here? Have you sketched it? Can you okay, show to me? That's similar to the previous example. Only in previous example, you let z equal to 2. Okay, You have x squared plus y squared equal to 2. And then z equal to 3, x squared plus y squared equal to 3. The radius k of the circle is different. So simple thing, why trying? So, okay, when I teach, okay, do we all focus or not? And this one is actually from secondary school you have learned. This is what? This is a circle equations. This one is actually circle equations. And you still, you still, okay, circle, you have x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. This end is a circle centered at origin with radius r unit. So this is a circle with radius 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 units. For the previous example, we already tried it, okay, see on it. The same thing, this is a C1, why in the previous example, I let C1, C4. So because 4 is 2 squared, three, why I let 9? Because this is a 3 squared. But this example, because this is z squared, that's why I just let z 1, 2, 3. I will get circle with radius 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 unit at z 1, z 2, z 3. So here, sketch this 3 graph okay, on two, x, y plane, x, y plane. So you have one circle, let's say another circle, another circle. So, okay, when you draw a circle, okay, make sure all the intercepts huh, are mentioned. Okay, sorry. This is x. Make sure you have negative 3, positive 3, this is positive 3, negative 3. So, Two, so negative 2, positive 2, here negative 2, positive 2. Uh, this is 1, negative 1, negative 1, positive 1. So the level curve, okay, and then you have to indicate this one is actually at z0, eh, sorry, z3. This is z equal to 2. This one, z equal to 1. So this is a 
Okay, no. Okay, this is a graph of level curve. Raise up your level curve at Z1, Z2, Z3. That is a contour line. Okay, the contour line, okay, you have a 3D graph. Okay, uh, Z0 is only one point. Okay, let's say this is Z1. Let's say you have a, okay, this circle. Okay, let's say this is two, another circle. Let's say Z3, a bigger circle. So is it the same one, like just now paraboloid? Is it the graph, uh, okay, sorry for is it the graph like just now the parboloid mean the round curve or straight line or straight line curve? Okay, the correct one is actually z squared equal to x squared plus y squared is this one. Uh, and actually, this one, you still have the bottom part. It's not this one. Huh? If, okay, if this is z equal x squared plus y squared, then it's a, okay, I mean the, the border is actually uh, parabola. But z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay, the border is actually straight line. That's why okay, we got two techniques. One is through the level curve. Okay, the le okay through through the level curve. Okay, when through the level curve, you may say okay, the graph of z equal to x squared plus y squared compared with the graph of z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. You thought they are the same okay, the same parabola, but in fact z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. This is actually called okay, double cone. This one is called paraboloid. Okay, then why? Okay, because k okay, for the graph, z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay, when you sketch on that okay, three level curve, you know the cross section is actually circle. Okay, but if you look at, let's say, uh, ZX plane. Uh, ZX plane happen when Y equal to 0. So you have Z squared equal to X squared. Okay, this implies your Z equal to positive negative X. So that's why you have here. If this is z, this is a x, so this is z equal to positive x, and then you have another one, which is z equal to negative x. So similarly for z y plane, z y plane, put it here, the y equal to zero, so you have, eh, sorry, z y z x plane y equal to z y plane x equal to zero so x equal to zero you have z squared equal to y squared that's why okay implies z equal to positive negative y so if this is a y y z is always vertical so this is z equal to y. Okay, this is z equal to negative y. Okay, that's why you see the z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. The border is actually the straight line, the straight line like here. Okay, then if you look back the here, I don't want this one, this one. Ah, not right here. So this one is a general. Just now I gave to you where C is 1, A is 1, B is 1. This is a general for double cone scale equation. So you see you have here, just I just draw one X actually. Okay, on the ZY plane, you have a okay, two okay, a vertical line there, cross, and then ZX plane also. That's why combined, the border is straight line. 
for the equation z squared equal to x squared plus y squared, the simplest case where a, b, c equal to 0. So, okay, if we use a contour line technique, we got limitation. We, we, okay, we don't know, okay, the border here, whether it's an ellipse or straight line. Okay, so any questions here? We have, okay, go through two, okay, actually, uh, two, okay, two famous, k okay, 3D graph. One is actually the simplest, z equal to x squared plus y squared. And then z squared equal to x squared plus y squared, which is the double cone. Okay, if I have z equal to positive square root x squared plus y squared, then you have is actually upper cone. In, from the cone here, uh, because z positive, so it's only take the upper part. If z negative, then you have the lower cone, the negative part only. Okay, any questions or not? Uh, doctor, uh, can I, I ask a question, doctor? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, doctor, so uh, when uh, the z is equal to positive, so mm. the graph is for upper part, right, doctor? Yeah, only upper part. Just take the oh. upper cone, this part. This part, ignore. But if z oh. squared, uh, z squared equal to x squared plus y squared, you got upper cone, Okay, bottom cone. So it's double cone. Z oh, positive. Okay. okay, take upper part only. Z negative. Take okay, negative part only. Oh, okay, thank you, doctor. Yeah. Okay, and then let's say another graph. Oh, this one maybe seldom. I this one also seldom. We look at maybe just now the ellipse. Uh, ellipsoid. Okay, before you see ellipsoid, let's say the easiest uh, sphere, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to, uh, let's say we put rho squared, where if a, b, c equal to 1, and let's say equal to the radius of a sphere. If you have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to rho squared, then it's actually on xy plane, you have a circle with radius rho. So, but this one, because a, b, c not equal, so you have, okay, each cross section is actually ellipse. I mean, if you have, okay, xy, okay, sphere, sphere actually you look at here, this one is actually uh, a circle, on the zx plane, uh, the plane at your left side is also a circle. Zy plane, this one, the plane in front of you also a circle. So you have three circle formed together, you get sphere. Okay, but if ellipsoid, a, okay, a, b, c value are not the same, but maybe a and b same or a and c same or a, b, c totally different, then you'll get ellipsoid. So the technique to sketch is the same thing. If the x, z plane, okay, or easy, first of all, x, y plane. Normally, x, y plane, you let this one zero. So, okay, for on x, y plane, you have an ellipse with the, where the intercept of x is negative a to a. So here, this is a, this is negative a, okay. The y intercept positive b to negative b. Okay, later on, x, z plane, let the z, x z eh? y zero so another ellipse okay x okay if you sketch on the x z plane okay so mean this one you put this is z this is x so x positive a negative a okay z intercept c to negative c and then it's an ellipse uh, okay but sorry my sketching not like ellipse eh? so z x plane so this one, z positive c to negative c, okay, x, oh sorry, z x left side, eh? here, so it's here, this one, then x intercept negative a to positive a, so similarly for x, uh, z y plane, is this one, z y plane, 
ZY plane, X equal to zero. So you have the Y squared over B squared plus Z squared over C squared equal to one. So the Z K intercept again, negative C to positive C, Y intercept from negative B to positive B. So you have another ellipse. So if from it, we get this is so-called ellipsoid. Ellipsoid. So, okay, we have, so I repeat, we have Z equal X squared plus Y squared. This is paraboloid. I mean the shape uh, like here. Parabola. The bound okay, the border is parabola like this. Okay, if we have z equal if this square root, this is upper cone. Upper part of the cone. So straight line like here. So if we got z squared equal to x squared plus y squared. Okay, this is the double cone. Bottom still have like here. And then x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to rho squared. This is a sphere. Oh, sketching. This is sphere. When the radius is rho. So this are okay, a few famous 3D graph. Paraboloid. Okay, this is upper cone, double cone, sphere, or you have ellipsoid. Okay, these are a few okay, famous that you will use it in, I think, okay, chapter 4, the double integration, triple integration. And the last chapter, vector calculus. Okay, then this one, not, not familiar with okay. Okay, from the paraboloid, if z is multiplied by a negative, so that's why it's inverted. The parabola is open down. Open down. So, okay, domain is the xy. Okay, the range is actually z. Okay, uh, maximum is zero. So, it means z less than or equal to zero. And then from here, if you plus with three, so the paraboloid will move up to z equal to 3 unit. That's why the maximum point is z3. This is z equal to 0. So domain is z less than or equal to 3. So this is okay, what we call z equal to square root x squared plus y squared. This is the upper cone. Okay, the range is z greater and equal to 0. So this is a lower cone, z equal to negative third x squared plus y squared. The range is actually z less than or equal to 0. Domain is okay, x, y, real number. So z squared equal to x squared plus y squared, this is double cone. Okay, actually, function, it must be z. Eh? So z squared, this is not functions. Okay, and z equal to phi minus third x squared plus y squared. Okay, without the phi, this is a lower cone, and then you, you plus phi. So, mean the lower cone move to, uh, move up phi unit. That's why maximum point is phi. So, domain still x, y, real number. Range is actually z less than or equal to 5. So this is a sphere with radius 1 unit. Sphere is not functions, okay? Because function is z as a title. You have a z squared, so this is not functions. Okay, however, okay, the x, y, z all are because you... Okay, bounded by radius 1 unit. So x, y, z are bounded from negative 1 to positive 1. This 
negative one to positive one. No more. So this is when you see coefficient for x squared, y squared, z squared, all are positive, but different value. What you got is actually ellipsoid. So mean the cross section is an ellipse. Okay, it's not function, cause again also you have z squared. So this is not function. To see where the x, y are okay, are bounded, you will let when you want to see the x bounded from where to where you let y, z zero. So x squared is equal to sixteen, so mean x is range from negative four to four. So similarly for y and z. Okay, this is a upper hemisphere. Upper hemisphere, this is function. It's actually from sphere. You have x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to 1. Okay, this is z squared, so this is not function. Okay, if I take k, z squared equal to 1 minus x squared minus y squared. Uh, and then I take the z equal 1. Minus uh, x squared minus y squared. So mean okay, sphere actually, when you cut it okay, at the x y plane or z equal to zero, you take the upper part. So this is called upper hemisphere. Upper hemisphere mean the upper part of your sphere. Okay, and then uh, we have what? So the range, okay, because okay, now z equal to third 1 minus x squared minus y squared. Domain is actually you set, domain you set 1 minus x squared minus y squared greater and equal to 0. You get 1 greater and equal to x squared plus y squared or x squared plus y squared less than equal to 1. So I mean the domain is actually bounded inside the circle with radius 1 unit. Okay, the range, okay. So when you see, okay, the inside the square root minimum is you set it equal to 0. So set 0, you have 0. Okay, and then you have, okay, set a value greater than 0. So which is positive. So that's why the range, okay. Okay, but it's actually because here, uh, why bounded from 0 to 1? From the graph, you can see it is actually bounded from 0 to 1 because it is from the sphere which is bounded, okay, with radius 1 unit. Okay, but here, how you know is Okay, mm, because x squared plus y squared less than or equal to 1, maximum is 1. So, when you put here, okay, this one is at most is one. At most is one. Huh? One minus one, you have zero. Okay, when less than one, so the value, okay, when this one less than one, so you have third one minus zero, so one. So that's why the range is bounded from zero to one. Cause of here. X squared plus Y squared less than or equal to one. At most k this value minus one so one minus one you get zero okay you may have okay this is circle okay with bounded with radius one unit so mi okay minimum you can have x squared plus y squared is zero so third one is you have one that's why the range is bounded from zero to one or from the graph of upper hemisphere you see z is actually bounded from zero to one okay so this is a upper hemisphere and then okay when the upper hemisphere okay from the sphere when you, you when you take the okay square root a positive negative you take the negative square root this is a lower hemisphere this is lower hemisphere 
So the range is actually z from 0 up to negative 1. Okay, the domain still the same thing, x squared plus y squared less than 1. The range, okay, because you have a negative part, so z from, okay, negative 1 uh, from 0 up to negative 1 only, or negative 1 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0. Okay, so you have any more? Okay, this is another type, okay, this is so-called tetrahedron. Okay, and normally, let's say you want to sketch tetrahedron uh, in the first octan. Okay, then it's very easy only to sketch it. You have the x, this is a y, this is a z. To, scale, to get the x intercept, you let y and z zero, that's why x intercept at positive 6. Okay, similarly to, okay, to get the y intercept, you let, okay, x and z 0. So you get 2y is 6, so y is 3. Then to get the z intercept, you let x and y 0. So 3z equal to 6, z equal to 2. And then you uh, just connect it. So this is a tetrahedron in the first octan. Okay, so, okay, tetrahedron. And then, x squared plus y squared equal to 1. In 2D plane, it is a circle. In 3D, it becomes cylinder. So, each cross section, okay, at each k z is actually a circle with radius 1 unit. So, okay, please take note, in 2D, this is circle, in 3D, it becomes cylinder. Oh, okay. So, now we look at the okay, partial derivative. Okay, the derivative of a function of single variable f is defined to be the limit of different quotient, namely... Okay, this is the definition of okay, uh, derived f dy dx uh, or f prime x. Okay, I 